Hi everybody, today I wanna to talk about what Simon Sinek didn't say in his famous TED Talk on leadership several years back. Stay tuned. Several years back, Simon Sinek had a TED Talk where he talked about leadership. It was really good and many of you have probably seen it. I'll include a link below in the video so you can actually watch it if you haven't seen it. One of the items he discusses is, is, is a question, is what is the one thing that leaders have? And he said that they have followers, and that's really true. And as opposed to being a, an authoritarian, a leader who has followers naturally uh, is, is uh, maybe a virtue that you wanna have. And I think that's why he brings it up in the video. But what he doesn't bring up is the other half of that. And let me just give a quick example from my past and, and it related to my theme today. My first job out of college was working for the Massachusetts Highway Department as an engineer, and I worked in construction management. And as a result, I, I got exposed to a lot of different contractors who would do, do business with the Highway Department. And traditionally, uh, paving companies have a, a skilled workforce. They have a paving crew, and there's typically several crews, but there's one main crew that does most of the the real uh, the critical work for the, the state highway departments and, and uh, the large municipalities. And one particular company, uh, right before the season started in the spring, their number one crew left and went to a different company. And the other company had got a hold of the foreman and, and somehow it, it worked a deal. And, and he was able to you know, sell that idea to the whole paving crew. And this really affected the first company in a bad way because uh, each individual has a specific job and it's not, a, a paving crew works together as, as one whole team and there's a lot of practice and each person knows where he or she needs to be at all times. And that was a really big coup for that second company to pull. So when you think about you know, being a leader yourself and the fact that leaders have followers, also consider the leaders in your organization and who works for you because you could be in a particular situation someday, hopefully not, but like this first company was where they lost a whole team and there was a leader that worked in that, that company and, and he left and took the whole team with him. You don't want that to happen to you. So just uh, pay attention and, and do a really good job leading your team because uh, you could have leaders working for you and all of a sudden one day you're, you're a, you know, 10, 20, 30 people leave and you don't want that. So thank you. Bye.